viewers, good morning. It's Saturday. Welcome to the fifth day of February 2022. Still on our daily newspaper recap edition from SPB TV Africa. We are looking at Quetta's newspaper this morning. I'm a Hannah Promit. And I am Igbeji, Gus Promise. Straight on the Poitas newspaper, first headline, debtors stand move to check cases of buildings collapsing in data state. Well, this is a new move from the data state government trying to check the reasons for a lot of buildings collapsing in the states. How do you see this, Issa? It's a good one because um, recently uh, we've been hearing so many cases of building collapse, not yeah. just in Delta State. We remember the 21-story building at Ekoi that collapsed. We also remember that at Salvation Ministries at Opanam. So it's it's really be become um, uh, an issue that uh, that should be um, really paid attention to. Yeah. So the Delta State government in an attempt to really check this issue and reduce its occurrence have set up a committee that will um, a panel that will look into the immediate cause of this. You know, a lot of um, a lot of building materials that most contractors use are substandard yeah. poor supervision and other factors to lead to that um, possibly leads to this. So it's a good one. The fact that the state government is actually paying attention to this issue of building collapse and how it can be reduced, we commend their efforts. Sincerely, we appreciate the state governments for this great move and also we are appealing to engineers out there to use standard instruments and standard materials to erect whatsoever building they have been given to construct. All right. Thank you very much, Promise, for that. And on the Vanguard newspaper, Buhari to court governors on choice of party chairman. This is quite an influence of the president on governors control of their political powers. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's your take on this relating them considering the fact that presidents must negotiate with them. Indeed, um, the position of governor is being challenged, you know, by some pillars in the party, that's yeah. the APC party. Yeah. Although the president have, you know, wide, um, so much influence on the governor's political, uh, you know, control of political powers, yeah. I really don't think the governor have to do whatever they are urging him to do because he can't afford to offend the governors. Structure is everything, you know, and um, the presidents have to reach a compromise with the governors in order to settle this issue. As you know, politics is a game of give and take. So the president should come to a proper mind. So they should be um, a kind of um, 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 liaise with the governors yeah. so that uh, a, a, a reasonable conclusion can yeah. be met. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for that. All right, on so the Poitiers newspaper, we are taking the next headline. It says 2023, we have not adopted any governorship aspirant coming from the Delta State governorship election ahead of the 2023 election. There's been um, there's been lots of speculations by a foremost pressure group here in Delta State, um, which is um, DC23. Um, this pressure group, there's been rumors saying that they've they've actually nominated a candidate for the 2023 governorship yeah. election. So they're coming out to actually the bone that um, rumor that says that they they've selected. They said that nothing like that has taken place. As a matter of fact they will be having their um, um, a meeting tomorrow by yeah. strictly the Board of Trustees to see a way forward and also possibly the nomination process. All right. We have been brought to notice that the speculations that aspirant has been chosen for the 2023 governorship election of data state is a wrong speculation, so we should move our mind up there and watch the governance and the entourage do what they are good at. Thank you very much, Promise, for that. And still on the Vanguard newspaper, terrorists invade military camps in Niger Delta and set schools ablaze. This is quite a sad one. I hope no one was present in the school at this time. Um, none was present from the information reaching us, and this um, invasion actually happened on Thursday okay. in the uh, Shiroro local government of Niger State. Mm. And uh, the school it uh, set ablaze is the our Lawards Community Secondary School okay. in that same local government. The terrorists actually invaded the town on surprise. 
and the, they dislodged the military personnel that was on duty because they came with dangerous ammunition, which the military personnel on duty were not, yet even. not having. You understand? So I'm actually appealing to the federal government. This vulnerability of Nigerians in issues like this has actually reached its highest boiling point. The federal government should equip the uh, military personnel in our country so as to handle issues like this. In order for them to discharge their duties, they need to be armed. Because imagine this situation now, the terrorists coming and the admonitions they are having is quite far beyond what the, ter um, the military personnel are having. So the government should look into this and see a way of arming our security personnel. Thank you very much. So imagine terrorists having more sophisticated weapons than, uh, um, than the, the Nigerian military. We want to appeal to the government to equip our uh, armed forces with all necessary equipment and weapons so that their duties can be carried out effectively. People believe that there are many reasons and conspiracies behind why um, um, our military personnel are not having more sophisticated weapons than, than the terrorists. Let the government look very, uh, pay keen interest into that. Okowa tasks Nigerians on humility, honesty, in nation building. As you see, these are virtues yeah. in whatsoever we are doing in our country. Mm. And the government is trying to you know, appeal to Nigerians and debtors at large to actually see a way of emulating these virtues. Yesterday, um, at uh, the funeral ceremony yeah. of late um, Chief Isaac Jimmy Day, yeah. who was um, a prominent Ishakiri leader, and at one time a former member of House of Representatives. At this funeral yesterday, Okoa urged um, youths, Nigerians as a whole, to embrace the virtue of humility, um, diligence, and integrity. According to, to him, this would enhance productivity, personal development, state development, and um, national growth. This is very important for everyone to pay attention to because um, humility is very important. Yeah. Someone who is humble can actually achieve a lot. Humility will, uh, someone who, who, who has that integrity will always be recommended. So these are qualities that everyone should have and um, pay serious attention. For those who don't have it, work in it, develop it. It will go a long way. Thank so we so commend much. the government for that. Thank you so much. We want to appeal to individuals out there. These are virtues you and I are supposed to emulate and exhibit. Humility, honesty is necessary in nation building. Thank you very much, Promise, for that. And still on the Vanguard newspaper, PDP governance and chiefs at war over zoning process. Well, um, you know, despite the project configuration, to advance um, the APC from the PDP angle yeah. in the 2023 general election. Mm. Um, I think the PDP, as, the PDP as a party has reached a crack in their um, age yeah. and then amazed the governance. And um, looking at the whole issue, I think the PDP needs to be stabilized. Okay. They really need to be stabilized. So okay. this shaking and the issue they're actually facing regards to the forthcoming 2023 general election is a way of stabilizing the party. So the party chairman and those, uh, the lawmakers in the party should see a way of harnessing this opportunity to stabilize the party. Thank you very much. So stability is everything. We, uh, um, an environment, be it a working environment, political environment that is not stable. We cannot expect less than conflict and unproductivity from that area. Another sad one coming in from the Pointers newspaper this morning says, man allegedly sells his son blaming poverty. Mm -hmm. Well, this is pathetic. Selling your own son and you're blaming poverty. How does that relate? Well, um, poverty has actually led to a lot of things in our country. Um, the report shows that a middle-aged man, his name was withheld at um, Oriri Olomo community at Ugali, um, South Local Government area, yeah. where actually um, sold his own um, child, actually a twin, and one of them was sold out yesterday. Mm -hmm. Report shows that he sent his wife out 
And uh, after doing that, the wife went to get food stuff, and in the process, he arranged for the woman. The woman he already arranged, and he sold the woman. He sold the child out to the woman. So when the wife came back, where is my child? And she couldn't find the child. And um, you know, she accused the man. The man was even blaming her. That why? The way did she keep the child? Um, he was um, arrested. He was t taken to the police station at Otu Jeremy um, at Sugeli there, and. Um, it was even reported that the police released the man, and that left, left the community angry. So we want to, we want the police to look into this. We want the commissioner of police to look into this case, considering the fact that the report shows that he was released. How can a man who who actually sold his child be released from the police station? If this is true, if this is true, then he should be um, brought to justice by the um, Nigerian police. We agree that poverty is indeed a disease, but going to this extent, it's a no-no. I think the security personnel and the state government should look into this issue because if not look into, occurrences is set to happen again. Yeah. Thank you very much, Promise, for that. And we're still on the Vanguard newspaper, All for Money. Rampaging teenage yaw boys take over ritual killings. Girls deploy charms on rich men. The level of spiritistic involvement of our youths, um, both boys and girls, the 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 Yahoo boys and in, in quotes actually using girls um, and the girls actually using charms on men. This is no longer a news. What's yeah. your take on this? Um, seriously, when you look around you, you know a lot of youths and teenagers engage in so many dubious arts like rituals, like some of them, just like the one we had in the news yesterday, mm. young men taking feces, eating defecates at a public environment. I mean, this, these are things that are really not good to the hearings, you know? And the imagine girls using charms on rich men, all for money. It's actually because of this get rich quick syndrome everywhere. Sincerely, I really wish their eyes is opened. Sincerely, because a lot of them are going through whatso um, whatsoever blackmail they've been blackmailed, wishing yeah. that they will get rich, you know, to flaze their life, enjoy whatsoever is happening in the society, not knowing that they are actually incurring doom on themselves and their immediate family, and of course the society at large. I really wish um, they come to the limelight. Thank you very much. Our youths out there, you cannot be poor if you work hard and if you're consistent about it. Yeah. Life is a process and you must pass through the process of life. Life has a lot to teach. But if we're so quick to bypassing life and we want to go through shortcuts, then we're definitely going to have it short for a short time. Thank you so much for that. With this, we've come to the end of the first segment of our daily newspaper recap. We're going to take a short break now. We'll be with you shortly. Don't go away. Hello. Are you a landowner and looking for a good and reliable engineer to handle your building from foundation to finish? Or have you finished that your building and looking for where to get high quality paint? Wow. I've got good news for you. Search no further. Contact us today at Chiman Engineering and Construction Service Limited and Chiman Tech's High Quality Paint. With these on all kinds of paint for exterior and interior purposes, we have test coats, seat, gloves, satin, mount, premium emulsion, and emulsion paint. We are located at number 56 Ifa in Chuku Wango Drive, Ifan Jesus Phase 2, Asaba Delta State. You can ring our phone numbers on 080